Farm Guy here, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the epic update to the Universal Crusher by M Pro Loop on Farming Simulator 22. It's for all platforms, PC, Mac, and console. I'm on PS5 here in the Rock Crawl map for this test of this 15.44 megabytes to download. So, not um, the download is not that bad, and the slot counts are pretty easy too. We have three actually placeables. So, we had uh, we started with this one. And the original, if I re recall, and we'll uh, look at that, but we have also a production and a sell point that's been added. So first of all, let's get our help window on because we're going to need it. And we're going to look at productions first, productions and factories. And the first one we got here is this. Now this looks like a typical uh, modified lime or stone uh, stone crusher base game type stone crusher but obviously with a number of modifications now we're going to we're going to look at that uh, that is five slots the next one is this the epic silicon limited which is also a production facility and it will produce um well <laughs> some very interesting stuff shall we say we're going to look at that closely as well 13 slots for that and then if we go up into selling points we also have a sell point that will buy all the all of the products that these two factories now make it's very cheap fifty dollars and only three slots right so first of all let's take a look at this one we have your manage production point we have a trigger here to sell wood so if you have logs you want to make into wood chips this does that now and here we have the uh, intake area for everything actually so everything goes in here wood water and all your other ingredients and we have a spawn point out here well out here where pallets will spawn if you set it to that also we have a outspout which uh, which we will show how it works and it does work very well and it covers all I mean, it checks all the boxes for me on a production point too so very well done here so let's come up here and check out the production so we have inputs of uh, stones water limestone sand and wood so those some of those we've talked about already limestone to um we have a lime production limestone and water gives you lime i'm not going to cover that um you can see 240 cycles per month uh 700 uh liters in 450 out we have much better limestone production and that's this wasn't really what was added i think this was already with the original same with the sandbag filling um so this was part of the original mod and then wood chips i think was added if i'm yeah maybe that was part of the original one change log uh do, do, do. it doesn't say in the change log so i can't remember exactly however that's not the point of this video the um the output products we have lime which we know iron ore so let's go back up to the lime and ore production notice uh stones and water and you get you do already get lime so you're going to get lime you're going to get iron ore you're going to get gravel you're going to get gold ore and copper ore so iron gold and copper ore you're going to get from this uh plus um the sand the sand production also you have uh industrial place and quartz sand is going to be significant uh for the next production too so if you want um to produce that um let's see sand you need sand so i have sand in there now this map does not have sand some maps have sand as a something you can collect or get from the map not on this one so just so you all know all the products i have purchased uh, i purchased from the easy way station and fruit shop by mandrid i will put a link to this in the description because this is where you can buy all the products you see 
produced or needed for these two productions if you are not on a map that you can get those items like limestone and sand then you can well actually this one actually gives some of those for free um, but anyways have fun with that right so let's go in here oh not there here right so we're gonna turn on the lime and ore production and we're gonna turn on the sand production because we're gonna you're gonna need to know um, the quartz sand as a output so we're gonna leave those all the storing because we want some of it to pop up in here to see what the crates look like however you can still let's show you now uh, the water goes in let's get into our trailer and actually yeah we're gonna show you this is the unreal trailer I'm just gonna show you what we can take out so start filling you get that start filling and we can so we already got some copper ore iron ore lime play sand wood chips quartz sand gravel industrial sand gold ore sand stones limestone copper so everything you've put in you can also take out I said I put too many stones in I can I can take them out oh capacities yeah input capacities 150,000 liters of stone uh, 60,000 liters of water 150,000 liters of sand I'm sure the limestone and wood are similar to those although those weren't included in the update so you can see we're clicking along already let's see if we can get our field information yeah there we go yeah see there we go on the right side uh, bottom right there universal crusher we got field information you can see things clipping along all right so that's um the production there now some of these items will be needed in this the silicon um, production we showed you what that the wh where that you found that now we can see here inputs is quartz sand like we said so quartz sand is used in this production gold ore and copper ore and it produces silicone gold and copper so all those have silicone produces the uh quartz sand is used for the silicone production gold ore for gold copper ore for copper so we're going to turn all those on as you can see the inputs are a hundred thousand liters now if we go back up into the universal crusher and you don't want to transport them yourself just set it to distributing and it will automatically send the lime now in this case lime doesn't go there but iron ore iron ore does not get used here at all so iron ore is just something you sell I would have thought um, so we need quartz sand gold ore copper ore gold ore set it to distribute and it will automatically send it to that um factory same with the copper ore so but we're going to set them to store because we do want to see what they look like and we're going to see if my universe or my auto load pallet uh, trailer will pick them up and you can transport them that way right so last but not least certainly not least is what can you sell this stuff for and let's go down to the bottom the final the final end product silicone copper and gold while well, we see prices are quite uh, high now the uh, cell station that comes with this is looks like it's um, uh, universal point of sale right here that's the new one looks like it's in line with the sell everything for by Schultz modding which I always have installed because well it seems to be always in line with uh, with the uh, the prices oh and one other thing sometimes I forget uh, you can set it to uh, selling as well so if you don't want to deal with like going and selling the product the end product just set it to sell you'll never see a pallet it'll just sell every hour uh, for those prices you see in there so that's how it all works now we got it running I'm going to get a normal trailer because some of this product might weigh quite a bit um, 
and you might want to transport it um, right uh, via trailer rather than via a pallet so we have a few options there we'll show you the in materials going inputting there inputting over here here everything goes in here pretty standard stuff as far as that goes and then we'll sell some stuff too let's see do we get no there's no cover here although this this is a little bit different than this one this is this universal uh, or sell everything by schultz modding this is the universal sell point that came with this mod right enough talking uh let's let's go ahead and um let's see how are we doing here yeah we're we're coming along pretty nice uh we're gonna go ahead a month and see what how everything all pans out and then we're gonna show um uh, the end product what everything looks like etc etc so see you in a bit okay so here we are and these are all the pallets that have popped out so we had a whole we had a lot of stuff actually running let's take a look um so we've run out of stone that's not surprise oh actually we're on a run of water um so our sand and stones are still good everything uh, the sand production did not need water neither did the wood or uh, just the lime and the lime and ore production so we've got quite a bit um quite a bit of stuff in storage plus out on pallets and uh, these are what they look like here is the gold ore 2.1 tons of a thousand liters this looks like copper ore yes 2.1 tons thousand liters uh, we got some gravel we got lime here uh, this is more gravel 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 and this is iron ore uh, now iron ore if you can't do, oh wait a minute I think iron ore yeah there could be other productions um, from other mods that use iron ore but nothing uh, nothing in this mod pack that uses it so if we come back over here this is the uh, silicon gold and copper so what do we got here we got gold 10 liters of gold 470 kilograms we have uh, silicon nice and this being a copper very nice and uh, more gold gold only 10 liters so yeah the gold production if we take a look down here yeah 500 and you get one liter from 500 liters of um, gold or you get one liter of gold and it's actually maxed out just about uh, copper 100 to 80 and silicone 100 to 80 so the gold production is well as you can imagine a lot going in not much coming out that's pretty typical uh what you would um think gold to be um, and that thus the uh, huge price for selling it because you're not really getting a whole lot which is pretty realistic actually so product going in we've already run out of water we'll show you water going in right so water going in so that's pretty easy everything else goes in there too so that's pretty standard stuff there um yeah nothing nothing really weird going on now the only thing that didn't have a marker was this spout here but as you can see here we can pull out anything we want or anything that we put in there or anything that's been produced so let's uh go with uh let's see what would be heavy this oh yes this is the base game brantner power tube that i bought out of the store so it has it is not modified it's not a unrealistic capacity or anything i just really want to see there we go that's the right one copper ore 15 let's see how heavy that is it could be quite heavy and will this trailer handle it it looks like it's uh, starting to uh, starting to feel the weight for sure and there we go 15,000 liters and it's it's yeah it's quite heavy this is a lot of weight here now depositing inside into the into the uh, 
next um, factory just like that and then you can um, go ahead and make your copper from the copper ore if you don't want to do that let's just sell it at the sell point make a little bit of money that way not bad actually right so what's next what other product that could be uh, that possibly could be quite heavy probably the iron ore I would imagine to be quite heavy but so far it looks like it's trailer is holding its uh, now iron ore is not something you can put into that factory it's only something you can sell at least with this pack so uh, let's uh, does it not buy iron ore wait a minute I thought for sure I've seen iron ore iron ore uh, oh it doesn't the sell point that comes with this mod pack does not buy iron ore interesting you can sell it directly from the okay so what's going on here I don't know if that was something that was missed or what but up in here the um, iron ore there it is right there I would recommend you to set it to selling it would automatically sell it you'll get the money or if you have a uh, modified sell point say like the Schultz modding one you can sell it there like so and and yeah do it that way if you like it's actually a pretty cool um it's a pretty cool mod um sand yes play sand we have various kinds of sand the quartz sand gravel industrial sand gold ore let's see how heavy the gold ore is in this base game trailer doesn't seem like anything's excessively heavy right so okay so we've played around with that enough let's put put it into our factory to be smelted into gold all right now the next question is uh, the pallets can we auto load actually can we load them into a trailer directly if you have pallets and you want to load it because um, this pack also if uh, I, is enabled every trailer in your inventory to carry all those products see at the end here we have all those produced products now these all every trailer can now even your modded trailers I have the Omatama Omatana TARDIS trailers and they also will hold everything that's produced here so that's pretty neat let's go let's go up here can we load no it doesn't look like the pallets it's giving me the uh, yeah no it's not loading there but that's fine that uh, that fill point is quite generous um, <laughs> Uh, okay, let's uh, so I have a um, an auto load pallet trailer here from Raleigh Christie VSR modding sir which uh, Pretty much loads just about every pallet I've ever come across and This is no exception so the problem with yeah the the, the tricky part here Okay, there we go. Oh, what is this? Play sand. Okay, so yeah, we got the uh, sand popping out and everything. So the tricky part with this trailer is you don't want a whole bunch of different products around because one will cancel out the other and you're going to end up losing quite a bit of product. Um, gravel. We don't want gravel. What I want to see, yes, we can sell gravel. What I want to see is, let's see, can we load the gold pallets here?
yes so we got 10 liters of gold can we sell it here out of the trailer yes so you don't have to pick up the pallets you just need an auto load pallet trailer um what i do want to know let's see we got some copper ore let me go grab and separate this pallet out and uh, try something got this copper ore right here separate it out so that we will load up the copper ore there we go automatically loading very nice now there's other auto load pallet trailers and such or things that could possibly work but this is the one i use all the time because well i know it works now we have to be really careful here of not backing into those pallets and loading those other pallets by accident but we should be able to yes so we can automatically can we it said i could is it not giving me the yeah that's the tricky part with uh, this auto load trailer is it gonna be able to let me no i thought it gave me the signal there but it's not letting me unload into the so your best bet is to like i showed before set it to distribute and it will automatically send it there we can we should be able to sell it yeah we can sell the copper ore um right anywho there you go i think that covers everything um i guess there's one other thing can we put stuff back in it use it as kind of like a uh, silo will it take lime back into it or both Ooh, that's heavy yeah so if you want to store it back in there it'll take it back in so in out back forth whatever you need what do you can do ah i like it when modders make factories where you can take out stuff and put it back in and uh, turn it into other stuff do whatever you want it's very user friendly for sure uh, this one over here however you can't take out once you put in that quartz sand gold ore copper ore you can't take it out it's only uh, it'll only come out after it's being um, produced into a product so just be aware of that but that one there the first one obviously in out whatever you need there you have it that's the uh wow huge update to the universal crusher by m pro loop on farming simulator 22 go have fun with this one thank you all for watching and remember it's only a game so Till the next one, bye for now.